again. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio and that is a pan of old colors and new colors from the painting I did just before the one I'm about to do. So I will list what was in there if I can, or at least the freshest ingredients, mostly blues as you can see. And I have a black 18 inch round canvas pre-primed and dry and I'm going to add colors to the colors I have, starting with Chantilly Lace, which is a Prism Pour. I'm a Color Art Affiliate. We're using color colors, Prism Pours, and Primary Elements. This is closed up now. Why is that closed? That's, that is Royal Sapphire. I should probably just wait on adding more of the blues. So I'll get those out of here. I wanted this to be a lot more pink. This is Pink Diamond. Want a little bit more of the wild orchid, and those are both prism pours. I didn't have any gold to speak of in my last piece, so I'm going to have some now. This is Mayan gold. I had some silver. I might do silver again. I'm being called to something I don't have out, and that is the poinsettia, which is kind of apropos since today is Christmas Eve for me. And it's a wonderful color. I just, I fell in love with it a long time ago, but it's very dark. When it dries, it's not pinky anymore, and it is kind of pinky now. I love the, I love the, my dish. My dish of colors is great right now. What fun that is. I think I'm going to indulge myself and a little bit of something odd, at least I think it's odd, Baltic Amber to go with these other colors. I think it'll go well with the blue and the gold. And I have some orange, I have some other colors standing by, but I think I'm just going to start, although the Fandango is calling me. When, it, when the colors call, I have to try and listen. I'm going to want some more of that Royal Sapphire, I can tell you now. Okay, it doesn't matter that my colors aren't out, out of the way. It just matters that I have room to work. Do I want any more Chantilly Lace? Maybe a little bit. I kind of wanted some yellow. Some Tuscan Sun would have been nice. Looks like I could use a whole lot more colors. Now what do I want to do with that? let the paint relax right off. I'm tipping it down so that I get a little blob at the tip. I'm not sure that that's <laughs> going to be rid of what I really want to do, but that's what I'm doing for right now. Now I'm being called back to orange, and I'm going to use a little bit of the sour lemon. Am I? Maybe I'm not. Yeah, a little bit of the sour lemon and a little bit of the Orange Crush. It'll be right there with that Baltic Amber in this mix. Pretty, very pretty. If you scrape down to canvas and you don't have enough paint coming out of your shovel, you have to go back over that area with paint coming out of your shovel. And I never know what's going to happen. I'm always just doing this spontaneously. Now 
you do get used to what's happening after a while. I'll grab a little something right in here. I don't actually usually mind leaving any gaps behind, but right now, I wanted those gone. I never did get the orange I was craving. Let's do it again. And if I don't get everything I want, I'll definitely be adding dots to the end of this process. You have to slow your roll to get the last of the colors you want out of the shovel. I'm hoping I'm going to take a large shovel and I'm probably going to do some dribbling. I'm going to try and wipe off the bottom of my... I'm going to come from over here. So I want some more of that white, the Chantilly lace. I keep eradicating it though. And I only want it as a highlight. So I don't really want it to take over, over anything. I don't know. I'm still interested in grabbing some some orange. And I've got a big clot from old paint. And I had to get rid of that. You have to really not think about this as much at all to make it work. I'm not sure it's working yet. I think what I am going to do is take a shovel full of paint and put some orange right on it. I got a glop, but I think it's going to be okay. So I use GAC 800 by Golden. I wonder how often I've ever used the squeeze bottles directly on the canvas because I'm thinking about it right now. I'm quiet because I'm focused. And I don't know why that doesn't equal <laughs> thinking about things. And I'm s definitely 
definitely thinking about adding the Chantilly lace in a ribbon and or the gold. want a somewhat calculated drip. I'm not sure I'm going to get what I want. But I'm still going to try. I see a bubble. Not my favorite yet. Let's grab a skewer. Still a little paint. Maybe some spirals will help. I'm pretty certain some dots will. Well, they usually do anyway. So I have these little containers. I'm not sure what to recommend. You could probably use anything like... You could even use a bottle cap in my opinion. All right, first I'm going to do what I said I was going to do, with the exception of not, I need to pop that bubble. I also need my finer skewer because that one's got too much on it. I've got a bunch of bubbles actually, but I've got to go. This could be the thing that fixes it. I live in hope. It's better. I like it better anyway. So what color shall I put my as my dots? Let's start with some of the white and see how I feel about it. But that might do it. The triple sec might work. I need something that really draws the attention. Sometimes I put my dots down every other dot so that the paint coming off the skewer. Yeah, that's better. Let's do some on the other side. And sometimes I don't like these immediately and I fall right in love the next day or later that day. I'm thinking it would be nice to put some of the uh, frozen in there maybe. It definitely needs to be lighter colors because the background black is already so black. I'm going to try this triple sec. Because I think we need and a, really, a really interesting exotic element. And that's what this is, I think. It is a primary element. And I love that it's green. It seems to go really well with the Fandango that's already in there. I don't often put dots into the paint. One reason is because I'm afraid that could probably sink, but if it works, why not do it? I want all the colors. <laughs> I've got a big lump on the end of that. That's not going to bode well for putting a dot down on anything. Let's make sure it'll do what I want it to do. It's not always a wise move to try and use the bottle. The 
contrasting colors I think will help save my composition. I think it's 100% better already. I'm not sure how long we're going to be here, <laughs> but uh, probably not long enough for me to finish with you here. And I'm loving a lot of things that I've got, but I, this is the part I think that I have to think about so that I, this is the dots are the choosing of the colors that will accent the colors around them. And I'm already, already 100% happier than I was when I stopped putting the shovel down. And if I want to do much, I'm probably going to have to take my time. The last piece I did, I spent another half an hour adding dots. You want to be careful when you when you use a squeeze bottle if you use a squeeze bottle because as you pull up you're you're bound to get something you don't want like a little tail So I don't know what this is going to look like but when the timer goes off I should have already told you to please give me a thumbs up and uh, check out my Check on the coupon code for Color Art Products. I'm an affiliate, so you'll help me out if you decide to do some shopping there. And uh, it's very close to my link tree, which has my Amazon link on it, where if you shop there, it's at no what it costs to you. And you can find my two books there because I can in unlimited possibilities. I think I'm going to have a really good time adding dots. I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of them now, but I'm really happy you could see what you can see. Um, my paint pouring recipe is under the video. The colors should be in the description under the video. I'm going to add some more of that frozen to my little paint palette here. And leave my colors. Oh, that's a dangerous one. Leave my colors all over the place. So I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me, by the way. <laughs> Just in case I haven't said that for a while. And uh, I post at 10 a.m. I'd like to post at 10, 15 a.m., I think, Eastern Standard Time, starting pretty soon. But it might still be 10 a.m. And what can I, what am I forgetting? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Please share my video. I said my recipe was underneath. On the link tree, you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Arts, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. I want more pink. But um, I should shimmer this at you before you go on, just as it is, because it's probably pretty cool. Yeah, and I guarantee it'll look, um, it'll look a little different, if not better. <laughs> we hope, we're hoping for better. I think there's going to be some more orange dots. There might even be some yellow. There might be some Tuscan Sun coming into this. So if you see yellow and Tuscan Sun is in the paint pouring description. Oh yeah, you know what? That's a lot better from up here than it is down there. But um, there's a shock value with standing too close to your work. I got one minute left. That's not really enough to do anything except for to tell you that my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And uh, I do sell my artwork, and I'm going to give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I have in the past, and we're about to have a couple students in early 2023, and I'm looking forward to that. Hi, Liz. <laughs> um, all right. I don't know what else I can tell you. I think I've told you pretty much everything other than uh, that I do accept donations through PayPal, and then the icon is on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, and the people who make donations are the only people, uh, aside from the members, the new members, there's probably uh, less than 10 of them. That's $9.99 a month, and you get access via the members' library to over 80 videos that go with the members' membership. But um, those of you who generously enough contribute through PayPal, PayPal. I really appreciate that. I may be changing my PayPal. PayPal did something to irritate me and um, I lost a bunch of money through them. So it wasn't their fault.